Hey Gearheads, coming to you from the 2021 Chicago Auto Show, showing you some unique first looks at some vehicles we haven't seen in person yet, including the Ford Maverick right behind me. Let's take a quick walk around. Hey Gearheads, just a quick reminder, hit that subscribe button down below because when we get to 500 subscribers, we will review Nelly Cruz, my car. And when we hit 1,000, we're gonna review Matt's car. And who knows what he will have done to it by then. Or, or if, if it, it's the same car. <laughs> if it's even the same car. So be sure, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell so you get notified every time we post a video. Here is the 2022 Ford Maverick. It is very well and highly anticipated, set to compete very closely with the Hyundai Santa Cruz. It's gonna undercut the Santa Cruz in price. Hyundai just unveiled their pricing and they're a couple grand more than this Ford Maverick, uh, but very similar vehicles in who they're going after. That lifestyle adventure, uh, urban adventure truck customer. And uh, this is based on the Bronco Sport, which is, as you know, based on the Ford Escape. So. It is a unibody construction, a very compact pickup truck design, uh, and borrows a lot of boxy styling cues from that Bronco Sport. So the Bronco Sport has become immensely popular uh, with people I know around our home of Tyler, Texas. We see them everywhere. Full-size Broncos are just now making their way to dealers. So just capitalizing on that boxy styling. And I think for that aspect, this Maverick has hit it out of the park. Starting at $20,000 with very fuel efficient options, cannot complain about what Ford is bringing to the table on this one. Leather seats. Very impressive vehicle you can see here showing off what all you can haul around in it. We've got a mountain bike in the back, front wheel removed. So Ford is really touting the modularness and the do-it-yourselfness of this vehicle and going after that consumer that uh, just wants an active lifestyle but doesn't want to pay an arm and a leg for a Ranger or an F-150. And this will be more than capable for what most of its users and owners need. So I think Ford has found a sweet spot here. Checking out the interior with the digital helper screen in between the analog tachometer and speedometer. Large touch screen here with interesting cubby hole right here. It slots in size very perfectly against the Escape on which it's based. So uh, I'm 5'10", the roof line is at my eye line. So if that helps out any, you can see this is a Lariat trim. So hence the leather, the screens inside, very impressive little pickup truck. 